What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 1 and 1 and today, as you can hopefully tell by the title, I am going to be doing a review on the Airsoft Innovation Oil Pump. So this is something that's actually really revolutionary and really cool for Airsoft products. This is something that I didn't even know existed um, until about earlier today when I got a package and I was like, oh shoot, I'm going to do a review of this. This is sweet. Um, I've heard it was cool when the guys on my team ended up purchasing one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a review on it. So this is sweet. Um, I'm going to actually go through the steps with you guys and sort of just um, go through it and figure it out. So what you'll get when you get your little pump is you get this and then you'll get a bottle. Airsoft Innovations actually makes two different types of lubricant. This is the one you want to use on these. Um, there's another one that they use specifically for their um, tornado grenades and that's a little bit more like I don't want to use the word viscous because a lot of you won't know what that means. But this one basically is more runny, so you can see that it moves around more, and the other one is a little bit thicker. Um, so that'll be easier, just terminology. So we're going to go ahead and unscrew the cap. Step one. Just kidding. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to put this. Um, you're going to stick it down in the... Hold on, let me get it. Um, you're going to stick it down inside this. And what you're going to do is once you stick it down inside the oil itself, I believe this is actually the other cap one. So this one, I think you can take this top off. Come on, baby. Love me. So yeah, you can see that there is, that's the normal like dripper top. And then you're going to take it off and put this in here. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And then I'm going to open it. You can see that I'm sort of pulling it up. And you're going to just do it as many times until you get all the bubbles out. So basically, you just fill the entire inside of this with oil so that you can put it into your tank, which is pretty sweet. So next, we're going to go ahead and pull it out. Actually, I'm going to leave it in because it doesn't matter. Um, you're going to have to go ahead and put this on um, your Airsoft Innovations um, propane adapter. Oops, I didn't screw it on right. Um, or I think this will work. I wonder if this will work with other brands. I would guess it would work with other brands. Um, the Airsoft Innovations one is only 15 bucks, so I would say get that anyway because it's really cheap and it has a one-year warranty. Um, I also did another review on that. So we're going to put that right there. And you can see um, this little thing right here. We're going to kind of shake off the loop so I don't get it everywhere. Um, we're going to put it on there so you can see. I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Um, and then we're going to fit this on the end. So push it down over that Airsoft Innovations um, Top there, you can see how I can hold it and it's fine. Um, and we're going, it says pump 20 times, but I'm just gonna pump as, until I think it's all out. Um, so I'm guessing they just say that. So now we're pumping in and you can actually feel that it'll push it sort of up. Um, the pressure inside of it will push it up itself. So you'll, you only have to, I'm gonna go ahead and do it 20 times just so it's good. And what this will do is this will actually apply the proper amount of lubricant to the inside of your gas bill back pistol. So when you use your gas bill back pistol, like I said, I'm done there. I don't believe there's anything else in here. I'm going to go ahead and put this top back on and assemble this back together. So you don't even have to leave your gas bill back pistols now because this entire tank is basically, this has become green gas. It's got the perfect amount of lubricant. So instead of spending $15, $12 on a green gas can, you can spend $2 on a propane tank, get a $15 adapter, and then get this really cool oil pump that they also came out with. Um, and then you'll be able to just do it a lot quicker. They also come with these. This is like, hey, this contains uh, silicon for gas blowback pistols. Don't light it on fire or put it in a stove or something. So you can put that. It actually comes with two of those just if you want to do it. Um, hopefully you're using your own green gas and no one's going to try to like put it in a stove or something because um, that would not be pretty. Last step would be to label it with a propane tag. Um, this is a cool little product. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, I think this is that's really cool. It's like completely emptied all the all the silicone in there. So you can tell it's still um, silicone-y, <laughs> if that's a word. Um, but yeah, this is really cool. Um, just to be able to have something like this that works with a product. I believe it's about 35 bucks, so it's a little bit more on the expensive side. Um, but if you think about it, this is gonna last for a while. And if something um, is gonna last for a while and it's gonna produce something that's gonna create it, it's gonna be cheaper in the long run for you guys because green gas is really expensive. And it takes a lot of time to lube your guns. So if you put this in, you're gonna have to still lube some of the internal parts, I believe. Um, I'm not a huge gas blowback person. I don't understand gas blowbacks that much. I'm a polar star. I'd rather shoot 1500 rounds a game than 50. Um, but I'm also, <laughs> if, I, if I were in a CQB place, I think I'd have a lot more gas blowbacks. But unfortunately, there aren't any near me in Ohio. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been the review of the Airsoft Innovations oil pump, and I'll see you guys later. Oh no, how am I going to press that button? I have silicone in my hands. All right, it's okay. Solved.